hey, what is a manufacturing execution system? The software applications that help control the uh, manufacturing businesses. They were initially created about 30 years ago in semiconductor manufacturers where the manufacturing process was just so uh, intensive on the generation of data and to improve yield, to get acceptable yield levels, uh, they needed, they doing that, collecting that data manually and adjusting the manufacturing process manually uh, was just wasn't achievable. So they developed software systems to control the manufacturing process and to gather the data that they needed to uh, to to get the process under control. That was 30 years ago. Since then, manufacturing execution systems have grown across all sorts of different type of industries, uh, really with the aim of uh, eliminating manual work, manual data collection, uh, to improve the quality and the productivity of manufacturing processes. Uh, and then in the last few years, with the advent of Industry 4, manufacturing execution systems have been uh, sat in a quite good place of being that layer between uh, to kind of grab data from machines, sensors, tools, uh, and store that in an industry full way and store that in a sensible and useful way uh, about the manufacturing process. So uh, in this video, I'm going to cover really what it is, what is a manufacturing execution system, what does it actually do in your business, and where does it fit? Because there's lots of other uh, software applications that do things in the manufacturing business. I'm going to try to help answer the question about what a MERS does and where it sits within uh, a typical manufacturing business. So, uh, firstly, I think a manufacturing execution system's main job is to uh, control and track the process flow of products through a factory. So from the moment that a, uh, a manufacturing works order is released by an order management system, whether that be like a financial uh, accounting package or from like an MRP system, as soon as that order releases it into production uh, or is planned for production, I think a manufacturing execution system should be the thing that takes over. Uh, there should be a two-way communication back to those systems but that MERS system should be guiding it from process to process, making sure that it goes through, travels through the routing that it's supposed to, that all the data is captured along the way, and trying to eliminate any mistakes as early as possible in its flow through that process. So really, I see it as replacing the paper-based a minimum level replacing the paper-based manufacturing traveler that you have with a product or a batch from process to process. So in, in simple terms, I see we like 20, 30, 40 years ago, we had uh, PLCs and machines automating specific processes. So if you had uh, CNC operations are all now replaced or robotics uh, or all sorts of welding and assembly operations have been replaced by automated machines that will do one specific process. I think a manufacturing execution basically does the same thing for the whole process. So it's a thing, it's the thread that tags process to process, make sure that a specific order, uh, manufacturing order, uh, goes through the right process in the right order with the right parameters. That's the stuff that probably used to be defined on this paper manufacturing traveler. The mayors will uh, take control of that and make sure that happens seamlessly, efficiently, and that data is captured immediately from that. So a couple of examples of that would be, say you have a manufacturing process uh, of that you have to take a batch of your pro Pro product and put it into an oven uh, uh, and for this order for this product or for this variant of this product it means going into the oven at 150 degrees for 10 hours previously that information probably would have lived on uh, the paper traveler it would say put this batch in the oven 150 degrees 10 hours uh, and what that would mean is the operator selecting the right program on the oven uh, setting the timer and, and clicking ok what a manufacturing execution system should do is 
when that product is, the works order for that product is scanned at the right operation, when it's at the stage of ready to go into the oven, it should scan that data, ideally through an industry for connection, talk to the oven, select the right program, select 150 degrees automatically and set a timer for the 10 hours. And then additionally, because it's at that stage, it should update that the work in progress for this order, it's at the oven stage and it's two hours into a 10 hour process. Uh, maybe updating that onto an online dashboard, updating all your efficiency calculations, and maybe even feeding that information back to your uh, MRP system if that needs to, if that's driven for some uh, financial reporting reasons, it needs to go back to that. So what the manufacturing execution system is doing there, in essence, is uh, controlling the process flow, reducing any chances of mistakes when in the processes. It's gathering the data for that traveler that every single process has been done, who's done it, when it was done, what the parameters were, and it's giving the immediate, immediate data visibility that this is where each order is, this is what you have in work in progress, this is what stage it's at to, uh, to help you make more informed and better uh, kind of planning and reporting decisions. So that I think in a kind of a, in a short summary is a key to what a manufacturing execution system is, where it fits into a factory and um, what are the key benefits uh, from it. Hope that was helpful. If there's anything that you think I've missed or you have a slightly different uh, opinion, drop that in the comments below. Uh, I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye.